Hey guys, Vadim from BizGrip and welcome to our live stream. This live stream is about our upcoming cages for iPhones 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. But first of all, I hope everyone is staying safe because of the coronavirus situation. As for today, we operate as usual, we ship out packages and orders, but situation is changing very quickly and there is a great possibility that Illinois is gonna go on lockdown. If any news, uh, if anything happens, we'll update our website and we will notify everyone through social media channels. So, um, beast cages for iPhones 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. We posted on Instagram photo uh, one day ago. Uh, right now, all the cages are in production and uh, we expecting them to have in stock uh, on a, uh, probably by the end of April. Um, so let's start. I'm gonna show you first uh, packaging. Uh, all three cages are gonna have very similar style of packaging. We did slightly different style design of the box. Um, let's take a look at the cages. So three new cages, one for iPhone 11. Another one is for iPhone 11 Pro. And last one is for iPhone 11 Pro Max. So new cages are very similar to previous versions of our Beast cages, but we did a bunch of updates based on feedback from customers. And uh, there are some improvements and some of them are very significant. So we believe those cages are the most advanced camera cages for new iPhones on the market. So first, um, slight cosmetical upgrade with it all uh, corners we put radiuses instead of chamfers so right now cage feels much more slicker it feels better in your hand it should be more scratch resistance because we eliminated as many sharp edges as possible um, we also added uh, slightly larger cutouts for neck strap uh, because we did change the design of lens mount interface so now we had more uh, room uh, because we eliminated some of the screws so we are able to make much larger cuts so right now let me show you if you have big design or similar type of straps now you can easily fit it through and you don't have to use any tools to remove that screw you just can easily attach those links to your cage um, next update uh, it's as the biggest update with it is our lens mount interface so because of the triple camera setup and dual camera setup on new iPhones 11 now we have ultra wide camera so that's brought us a bunch of design challenges because if we would keep the same approach as on previous cages where lens mount is attached by screws uh, the wide ultra wide camera would be covered by any type of lens mount we have. So we had to come out with some solutions that you can quickly remove lens mount plate if you want to shoot with your ultra wide camera without any lenses. And uh, that's why we kind of spent a little bit more time than we anticipated just because of those challenges. So right now um, on all three cages, the lens mount can be removed quickly without any tools. There is a lock screw, so you can release it and just lens mount comes out. Let me actually put my phone so you can see. So by default it's gonna be aligned with the main camera and then if you want to use ultra wide camera, you simply remove the lens mount and you have all three camera exposed and you can use just like that. Because of easy and quick removal, um, now you can also rotate the plate if you want to use your telephoto camera on iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, you can rotate the plate and align it with telecamera. So if you want to use filters or some of the lenses, you can do that and 
we also have, of course, our M-series mount for M-series lenses. Works the same way. You simply swap the plate, and now you can use M-series lenses. And this time on this Dolo triple camera smartphones, we used only single bayonet mount just because we can quickly rotate the plate if you want to use on telecamera. So we don't have to do to make dual bayonet mount. You just flip it and you can use on telecamera. So because of that quick and easy toolless uh, lens mount swap, uh, we decided to include more lens mount plates just because of all the requests we had and we still have every single day uh, for our beast cages if our gear is compatible with moment lenses with moondock lenses with sandmark lenses and other lenses so with new cages 5 and 11 11 pro and 11 pro max we will include additional plates for moment lenses so now you can use your moment lens with our cages. Same bayonet mount idea. Uh, it's also flippable, so you can use on telecamera exactly the same way. And of course, another one is for Sandmark lenses. So basically it's M17 threaded mount. It's optimized for Sandmark lenses, but if you have any other lenses, because M17 mount is pretty popular, uh, technically you can use all the lenses with M17 mount. Just keep in mind that distance from the flange of the mount to the camera is optimized for Sandmark lenses. So maybe other manufacturers have differences in distances. So uh, we, we don't know about other lenses, but we guarantee it works perfectly with Sandmark lenses. And again, you can align uh, and mount your Sandmark lens mount on the main camera, or you can flip it and use it with your telecamera. Just like that. So basically new cages will include three, uh, four different uh, lens mount plates. Uh, so you can use with our Pro Series lenses with 37 millimeter mount or depth of field adapters. You can use with our M Series lenses with bayonet mount. You can use Moment lenses with Moment bayonet mount. And on top of that, if you have Moondock uh, anamorphic lens with the same style of bayonet mount as Moment lenses, or if you have Sirui lenses, you will be able to use it with our cages. And Sandmark with M17 mount and any other lenses out there with M17 mount. Now you can use all of those lenses with our beast cage. Uh, and the last update we did in design, it's more cosmetical than um, some mechanical, but it's also, again, uh, we had a couple of requests from our customers how to protect the back of your phone. And now we will have optional skins that you can mount on the cage. Uh, we are working on a couple different styles. This one was inspired by new Mac Pro, <laughs> the same type of uh, pattern. And there is another variation. So we still kind of uh, trying different uh, designs, different styles. So uh, skins will be available as a separate item, just if you want to customize the look of your cage. Uh, probably we're also gonna share a 3D step file or STL file so you can print it yourself or you can just create some custom design for yourself, whatever. Just make it a little bit more fun and more personal, I guess. So. There is a magnet here, magnet in cage. You just place it inside of the cage. It's gonna keep it there. It's not like super secure that you can put it in your bag or press on it. It's gonna come out just because uh, you have to take out phone somehow. So basically magnet just gonna hold it in place. And then just Put 
put your phone inside and that's how it's gonna look and let's try another style on iPhone 11 Pro Max and by the way uh, cover works the same way as uh, some previous phone uh, beast cages with the same style of plug so. And we are planning, we have different designs and different styles. So probably first we're gonna release a couple, uh, maybe two styles and then we'll try to uh, add more. And uh, also those uh, skins, they are made on uh, HP MFJ 3D printers. One of the most advanced 3D printers on the market. It's made of nylon material, very durable, lightweight and actual finish and texture looks really good for 3D printed parts. This looks like finished product, finished parts. So, and of course, this gives us ton of flexibility. What type of design or pattern we want to put? We don't have to invest in any molds. It's like we can create as many different designs as we want. Uh, so, also quickly uh, about our anamorphic lens, 155x anamorphic lens. Uh, so we are planning to do Kickstarter. Initial plan was to launch Kickstarter around NAB show because we were planning to attend NAB this year. NAB is canceled because of the coronavirus, but plan is the same. We are expecting to launch Kickstarter by the end of April. If anything gonna change, we will see. We have to just monitor the situation around coronavirus. Um, and you guys can sign up to our newsletter and Facebook Messenger. We have landing page on our website. Uh, if you go to website bizgrip.com, on the top you have coming soon menu. If you click there, you will go to landing page for our 155X anamorphic. So you can check uh, video samples, some photos, and just sign up to be notified on the release. Uh, we're also going to release a couple other products. Uh, so filter mounts. We'll have three different types, all based on 58 millimeter size. So you can use 58 millimeter filters. And of course you can use larger filters with step up rings. So one of the mounts will go on top of our M series lenses. So now you'll be able to use M series lenses with 58 millimeter filters. Right here. And this mount will be compatible with our anamorphic uh, M-series, telephoto M-series and wide angle M-series. All three lenses have the same diameter. Single filter mount will work on all three M-series lenses. And our upcoming 155X anamorphic is actually a little, a little bit larger. So it will have um, detachable 58 millimeter filter mount, which will be included with this lens. So it's just gonna come like that and you can use it with filter mount or without. Next filter mount is our bayonet mount filter, uh, bayonet mount to 58 millimeter mount. So if you want to use just filter without any lens on the cage, you can do that. And just simply mount it to the cage and now you can mount filters. And of course you can, again, flip it to use with your uh, tele camera. And we're also working on another uh, mount. It's basically gonna be a single separate mount which will go on all three cameras. So if you want to use just uh, cameras without any lenses and want to have single filter covering all three cameras, we'll have completely different mount for that. And the last one is 37 to 58 millimeter mount. Um, on Bisgrip Pro, if you use just regular step up ring, it's not gonna fit because of the design of lens mount here. So it has to be a little bit taller just to have enough clearance. So basically now you can use filters on Bisgrip Pro or you can use them with 37 millimeter mount on the beast cage. 
and the last we will have uh, pro series filters made by ken katakina in japan high quality professional quality filters will have cpl nd filters and variable nd filter and beast cam is coming soon <laughs> okay guys once again i hope everyone is staying safe um, if anything we'll do updates on our social media channels and on our website and uh, beast cages should be available next month and stay tuned probably we're gonna do more live streams soon Thank you.